The time has finally arrived for Europe to set up a permanent outpost in space. Named after one of the greatest explorers of all time, the European Columbus Laboratory has been transferred to the cargo bay of the space shuttle Atlantis and now awaits its historical flight into orbit. Two European astronauts, Hans Schlegel and Leopold Ehartz, from the European Space Agency ESA, will accompany Columbus on its voyage. They'll oversee the attachment of the laboratory to the International Space Station before getting its first scientific operations underway. Having the capability to do research in micro-G in low Earth orbit is a, a great chance to uh, find new things, to move the borderline a little bit more out to the unknown. And on the other hand, it's the first step. This is the first time that uh, Europe will have uh, in space a, a permanent scientific laboratory which will be attached to the International, international Space Station. And there will be the possibility to, for Europe in the next 10 years to, um, um, to perform some scientific experiments on board uh, Columbus and, uh, and during uh, uh, all that time, they, 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 we will have microgravity conditions for, uh, for science. Once in orbit, Columbus will be taken out of the cargo bay by the shuttle's robotic arm. The European laboratory will then be moved to the European Node 2 connector, where it will be permanently fixed to the station. German ESA astronaut Hans Schlegel will play an active role in this process, carrying out two spacewalks to get the job done. The main task is uh, later in the mission when we are docked to uh, go out EVA, prepare Columbus, um, make Columbus uh, being uh, ready for the mechanical connection to the International Space Station. Schlegel's French colleague, the ESA astronaut Leopold Ehartz, also has his share of responsibility in the mission. After Hans Schlegel returns to Earth after 12 days in space, Leopold Ehartz will continue working on board the Columbus Laboratory, conducting scientific and technological experiments. The scope of the mission is to uh, first, of course, to bring the uh, Columbus labor Laboratory to space, to install it on the, on the International Space Station, make all the connections and, um, um, of course, activate the module, power it, uh, bring the cooling and uh, do all the activation. Um, we will have then to check that the, um, all the systems are working properly, that the scientific racks are, uh, are working properly, and uh, we will have to do some commissioning task, means checking the system, all the systems. And then during the next phase, um, when, when, I'm, when the shuttle is gone, my, my job will be to start to, to do some of the experiments on board the module, and also to make sure that the scientific racks are working as expected. Each rack in Columbus is a laboratory in its own right. Experiments in life sciences, physiology and physics can all be carried out within the one structure. These facilities are pre-installed inside Columbus, so experiments can start immediately after it arrives at the ISS. Experiments can also be mounted outside Columbus to examine the effects of exposure to the space environment. Two such experiments will be launched along with the laboratory. Once attached to the ISS, Columbus will be operated and controlled from the Columbus Control Center near Munich in Germany. For 24 hours a day, seven days a week, during the next 10 years, the mission control team will make sure that the astronauts can work in a flawlessly operating space laboratory to conduct experiments in the best way possible. Thanks to a network of user support and operation centers throughout Europe, participating scientists will receive the results of their experiments in real time. Continuing Europe's long tradition of space exploration, the Columbus Laboratory is sure to capture the imaginations of young minds, inspiring the scientists and engineers of tomorrow. By providing a permanent presence in orbit, Columbus will help us to understand life on Earth and to develop new technologies for the future.